Okay, guys, uh, Jess Ran here. Um, we're back to the normal with the um, uh, weekly review video. So I'll, I'll crack on. I've got quite a bit to get in today, as usual, um, including you know how to um, use buy stops correctly and, um, and sell stops correctly. Also, uh, you know the reason for stacking. Which we, you know, I think a few of you, most of you probably know, have I do a lot of now. Um, all right, first trade I'm going to talk about is the GJ. Now I know a lot of you know uh, about currency correlation, uh, but there'll be, you know, quite a few of the members that won't know about it. So basically, a quick rundown on it: uh, when certain pairs uh, are going in the same direction, uh, another pair can go in that direction as well. If you don't know about currency correlation, guys just google it there are plenty of uh, sites out there that will help you with that right okay but um, I'll give you an example of what happens now all right the first trade I want to talk about is the GJ right and that was based on currency correlation okay so let's have a look at the GU here we're going up as you can see this signal here beautiful uh, weekly signal it's come up bounce back down and it's going up again all right the UJ the UJ is going up as well look it's going up it's hit it's bounced back down now it's going to bounce off this um, original orange line on the weekly you've still got the weekly signal here in play it's going to bounce off this and go up there's no doubt in my mind about that ok um, so we look at the GJ now what's interesting to note on the GJ is you've got a weekly red here against you and you've also got this dailies against you here ok so basically I'll just uh, show you basically you would say oh right well this is going to come down well for me because you know the, the GU here is going up and the UJ is going up and the GJ is going to go up these are you know that doesn't compete with this signal here I'll give you another example of that if you look on the G, GBP Swissy here look at this signal here and a little, little red against it no no it's not having it you see so basically what you're looking for um, is the move the bounce back up here the move up you're already getting some kind of mim here on the four hour um, so what what you should have done here and, and this is the thing that I love using buy stops me because and I'll show you you know what on one of my own charts in a minute exactly why right if you were going to take this trade what you should have done is you see this red candle here is it I'll just close and you see the work right what you should have done is put your buy stop about 10 pips above that wick so somewhere there okay um, again I'll just show you on my own chart here that's what it would have looked like you see that's the candle there with the uh, 4 hour um, red pink lighting up okay that's the candle that said put about 10 pips entry and this is the reason why just look what's happened here it's gone up a bit it's not touched and it's gone down again so imagine if you were, you know, right on top of this here. Okay, pull in. If you'd have had your, you know, your trade entry there, then you'd have been in the trade and it'd have gone against you for a bit. You understand? Um, basically, you know, by putting, giving yourself at least 10, maybe sometimes 15, depending on the currency pair, um, you're giving yourself that breathing space. As you can see what's happened, it's come up and it's come back down and then it's gone, you know. Uh, triggered your trade there and, and that move from that was a 200 pip move in less than a day alright guys um, I shall show you um, on MT's there it was there's the there's that candle we were just talking about look you weren't triggered you weren't triggered and then all of a sudden around about there it triggered and you were in the trade you can see there it's bounced off the orange line on the daily and look that weekly red's disappeared alright let's have a look on the next one and, and there you go look at this once it triggered up 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 all the way up like that ok that was a 200 pip move alright when do you I'll tell you what when do you people will and usually do ask me about this when do you consider getting out right would I consider this signal here as my exit no why because when this candle's closed here it's not created a new low it's not come back down below the low of this candle okay 
and then you know that candle's closed and you say all right well i'll see what happens now and then if this candle had come down and created a new low and maybe broke this orange line then i would consider going out but what happened is it just you know it's like it was taking a break and then it just shot up again another whatever it is amount of pips on that again i'll just show you on my chart exactly what i'm talking about there right you've gone up and then this candle here you can see it's closed there it's not closed below this low here you know so if that candle had come down here and i i might have considered getting out well i would have considered getting out but if the, this next candle here when it started if that had started going red i might have considered getting out because it could have said that the move to the upside is over right but this candle alone no that wasn't enough and then you can quite clearly see what happened okay guys so that uh, basically it was the GJ it was a 200 pit move it was a beautiful move um, I hope I've explained there you know what the, the reason for using buy stops it's a pretty pretty good example really you know because it didn't actually break it there but you know it, it, and it did come down so you weren't in the trade at that point you weren't losing if you'd have got in here you'd have been I don't know 40 50 pips down basically before you start going up okay so then your trade entered triggered there and you got a nice 200 bit move okay that was the gj right the next one uh was an absolute belter right the ucad right and i know mt's been going on about this you know for quite some time now and, and this basically happens all the time okay you've got your weekly here as you can see look what's happened it's come down bounced off the yellow line there bounced up there and then dropped through this time you see it's dropped through this time and then it's coming up and it's retesting the lines again okay this happens all the time bounce through up and then it's going to drop away again okay just to highlight that there what's happened look you've got this signal down it's come down it's come back up it's come down come back up to the orange line it's come down again and look where we are now on the daily you just you just touch the orange line and it's starting to come down okay this then would be your entry signal okay so let's um take a look at the next chart shot right there you go look what happened the ne very next candle that move happened okay again look at the daily look it started to come down as we said and it just shot down all right shot bounced off the uh, orange and yellow line there and look what it did bounce exactly um, what it should have done and if you look on number three there you go that initial move there if you'd have stayed in that move that was over 200 pips right. would you consider this as an exit right well um, again we use the same principle um, was the next candle you know green um, and going up if it was then yes exit you know but here's the thing if you if you stack this and take two trades instead of one trade um, you know you could have taken some profit at this point and then see what happens with your second trade it starts coming up and it breaks this orange line then you know get out and take the rest of the profit on your second trade but if it just bounces off this orange line and comes down again you've got more profit okay I'll, sh I'll show you exactly what I mean on I think it's this chart here right what happened look this 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 is what happened it went down take some profit here because your second green candle there right but look it come up it hit the orange line again and look it trapped another 50 60 pips there all right so that trade two day just over two well yeah just over two days trade there you've made probably 200 pips on the first trade 240 on the second trade right it was textbook um blah, 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 trading uh that guys it was a really textbook trade um and you maximize profit you know um there's just one other thing i want to show you um oh, where was we on the gj on it right the gj this trade on the gj risk to reward ratio was one in four it was a 200 bit move so it was one in four if you used a 50 pip 
stop loss and um, the UCAD went 240 pips so again it never went against you if you look there it never went against you it just went for you all the way that was a risk to reward excuse me one in four for your first trade and if you did take the second trade it was a, a one in five okay they are unbelievable risk to reward ratio trades right traders would you know you ask Bobby Axel Roddy would give you bloody iron legs for that um, okay so uh, that's basically what I wanted to discuss on the long term trades again just keep looking for it um, you know if, even just let me go back again on that you got one right so again talking about um, you know the um uh, buy and sell stocks right basically you had an arrow here on the first one it disappeared yeah but what you would do is because that candles closed there right what you would do is your next candle even if you wanted to use a, a sell stop rather than you know just dive in with the signal you could have put a sell stop anywhere below the close of that candle there okay because everything was in your favor you know you had the, the bounce off the orange and yellow line on the weekly with a monster weekly signal you had the bounce off the orange line uh, on the daily you know you're bouncing off the BB bands on the on the four hour um, so everything was in your favor to do that trade so yeah you would have put your sell stop somewhere here and you know, you'd have been in, in, in for a big trade all right guys so uh, that's basically it for the um, weekly oh I'm going to just let me show you something on the GBP Swissy as well there was another trade again this monster signal up here um, yes we're quite high up on the BB bands on the daily here um, but what you have to notice is what's been going on on the 4 hour rail look each time you've hit these lines you've bounced come up and then you've got a red pink signal up back to it red pink signal now look it's coming to the end of this one again you can tell because those candles have gone very small here and you're just bouncing off the orange there so again what you would do is put you know um, a buy stop above above these the, the wick here of this small red candle so you know you, depending on the pair I mean I would have put that one at 10 pips above that wick okay and then uh, you know I'll just show you in the second chart there it, as it kicked in there you go right uh, here we go look that red there it didn't trigger there it didn't trigger there it triggered on this candle here just above it there it triggered your trade and then one up you go and that was 110 pips so again you're looking at a one in two uh, risk to reward ratio there um, right, just one other thing, guys. While I'm I'm on, I, I'm trying to keep it all on this. The 15 minute signals, right? This new strategy we're doing. Right, I just want to mention a few things. I've, I've noticed a couple of people are still wondering about reds and whether it should be pink or what have you. Right. Well, here I'll give you a couple of examples. The first thing you need to do is to judge which direction it's going, which is strongest. You know, that's a strong bias. You've got this it's trending up it's a strong trending bias with one of you know four hour signals and if you look what's happened you've had the pink here then yeah it's gone up and then it's come down a bit here but that again that's never gone against you you know you, if you've taken this you're still in the green net and then the red appears and it goes up okay reds with a trend are a strong bias a really good signals right but the pinks the pinks are the best okay um, I'll just show you where I can here look at this this on the UCAD right look at this monster signals here monster downtrend four hour really strong bias you get a 15 minute pink and look what happened that guys it was a 60 pip move in half an hour in half an hour okay um, again I'll just show you another example of that um, of the, of the, you know of um, how strong um, oh god I'm struggling today guys how strong the pinks are again let's look at the GU look at this really strong bias uh, I know we're outside there but it, uh, and it's an uptrend but 
you know this is what the signal did here yeah, you got one here and again that's half an hour and that was a 50 pip move all right guys um just to ooh, I, I, um, just let me think now i think there's a big move down there even though it's messy you can see this on the uk it's really messy look at the wicks so it's up to you whether you think oh right i'll trade this one down it did come right down here you know so there would have been a trade in there um but yeah uh these, these do work i mean you see with a strong bias or a strong trend that reds do work you know you've got one there look and that's gone up but it's also correlating with this five minute red pink you know don't just take a small red and a small red um you know make sure you know, you've got as much su support for that uh, particular trade as you can get um, and yeah well that's that's about it guys uh, again just you know these these long term trades I really think that you're missing out on these guys if you're not going to start trading these um, I mean they are these weekly signals if you get them right and you get the trade right correlate them right you can make a hell of a lot of money you know as, as, as this you know these the, the, the UCAD shown and the GJ shown you know it's just a matter of having the confidence to set buy and sell stops correctly as long as you've got your direction you know um, uh, the way to look at it is if the trade isn't triggered then you've not lost anything okay if the trade is triggered then you're more than likely in profit you know and as i've said before when you've got good risk to reward um ratio then you, you can afford to you know lose one or two trades a week as long as you're winning two or three trades a week okay so uh that's it guys uh for this week and um i think just runs out <laughs>